Right then, hello and welcome back to Super Trucks on the PlayStation 2. Last time we completed the Thunder Cup, and now we have the penultimate championship to contend with. It is the Super Trucks Championship Series. It's going to consist of seven races of six laps each, and nine trucks are going to be on the grid. And then, of course, we unlock the final championship, which is the Harriet Lewis Starinen Grand Prix. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, we're going to stick with the good old BP Cyborg Booba machine again, because I do like the coloration. Uh, keep it an automatic race, and uh, yeah, we're starting then with Zolder for race number one. And we'll jump straight in for the race instead of doing the practice or qualifying. Always starting at the back again, because these races uh, are fairly easy. I did say last time that this game is easy, but, you know, some of the races last time did cause us a few concerns. So we have uh, Overbrink on pole, then we got Braun, second, Ferte, Korber, Albacete, good old Antonio Albacete, who still drives in the uh, European Truck uh, Championship Series uh, even now, so, which is cool. And here we go, thundering down, two, one, go, and go again. Oh, excuse me. Gotta get used to how these trucks handle again. I find the, the trucks on this game are a bit too responsive. The handling, like I said, there's no real weight feeling to the trucks. They do feel very flimsy in their handling. They're not doing great, only up into seventh place. But still plenty of time to go. We don't have to break through the chicane. Straight through. Oh, and there's been an accident. I still don't know if any of the AI trucks retire from crash damage. Oh, a oh, bit of understeer. They're battling out ahead, so he's just been pushed wide. A bit of a hectic first lap. Minute corrections on the handling. Oh, excuse me, pardon me, coming through. On the mini map, one truck is very slow at the back. been split in the middle. Go on, go away. Good stuff. And they have just crashed behind me. Okay then. You know, it makes my life easier. I've got no one breathing down my neck. Slowly gaining on the leader. No one's received any warning for excess contact at the moment. And we're 2.39 seconds adrift of the leader. But we are catching up slowly. Your backside back here, please. I think we're exactly the same distance away. Uh, yeah, just about 2.32 seconds. We were 2.39 on the previous sector. Debris. 
Going into turn three. They're catching up. Line up the chicane properly like that. That's fine. Well, this uh, championship is actually proving to be a bit more of a challenge, which is good. More debris coming out of the last chicane. How's my truck looking? Eh, a little bit dented on the front. Not that bad though. 1.8 seconds. Luckily I don't really have to brake around turn one or any of the turns really. It just let off the throttle. And the truck usually slows itself down with scrubbing off the speed itself so. Off the grass, come on. Made up a little bit of time, 1.65 seconds. I think I lost that though on the grass. Ooh. Come on, stop understeering. Now, I'd look recently, we're very, very close to reaching 2,000 subs. I think we're 22 away. Um, it does fluctuate. I think it stagnated the last month or so, where it's sort of been like 26, between 26 and 22 subs away from 2,000. So, uh, yeah, to all the new people that have subbed to the channel recently, hello and welcome. I hope you enjoy this kind of nonsensical content with my uh, equally nonsensical gibberish. Oh, nope, off the wall. So yeah, very, very close. Hopefully you can reach 2K before the end of the year. That's my goal anyway. Whether it will happen or not, I have no idea. But like I said, I never advertise the channel or anything I never say during the videos oh don't forget to like subscribe and all that crap because I you know I just think it's a bit cheap although to be honest it might be beneficial because I've noticed a lot of people they you know don't do either so so yeah if you do like this kind of stuff then like the video or subscribe or this that, and the other listen to my words carefully because it's probably the last time I will ever say that It all helps the channel. It helps it grow in equal measure, so. There we go. Now we're in a draft. That is one good thing about this. When you're in the draft of another truck coming out of the corner, your truck really does pick up speed pretty much instantly. But saying that, theirs do as well when they're drafting you out of the corner. Right, last lap. Leading by 0.45 of a second. Oh, that wasn't clever. Oh, thank you. Oh, and he... <laughs> he rear-ended me, crashed into the barrier. So that has pretty much handed me the victory on a silver platter. Gerd Krober has received a warning for excess contact or whatever that was. Our friend Gerd. Bless his cotton socks. He's trying. Oh, no, 
off the grass. How much are we leading by? 2.9 seconds over the newly appointed second place driver. There he is. I don't think that's Gerd, though. Gerd is in the, uh, the blue and grey, dark grey machine. And there we go. Race one down, and a nice... I was going to say easy victory, but not really easy. But a victory is a victory. So I will take it. That took 9 minutes, 21 seconds. So this is going to be a fairly long video, I would think. If uh, all the races are going to be round about 10 minutes. But that's fine. Uh, so where was Gerd in the end? He was 7th. Bless. So the points go all the way down to ninth place then. And the points exactly the same as what they are because it's only race number one. Right, save the replay, please. Yes, and I'm going to have to overwrite all of these. Thank you. All right, next race. Where are we going to be racing this time? Uh, I'm going to say the Lausitzer ring. It doesn't tell you the list of tracks that you're going to be racing on, but that's just my guess. And no, we're at the uh, the phallic shaped uh, track back in Finland. And I'm going to safely assume it is going to be pouring down with rain. Because the last two visits here have been quite damp. But we'll see. We tend to do quite well. Yep, it's raining. Not going to worry about the grid startup either. That eats into uh, the time way too much. And again, no windscreen wipers. Boo! Right, away we go. Oh, oh, I got a warning. Whoops, sorry. Oh, Gerd's gone off. Albacete's got a warning as well for excessive contact. I need to get used to how slidey the traction is on this race. Oh, come on. Oh, Gerd has received another warning. Come on, Gerd, what are you playing at? Or should I say, er, my gird, what is he playing at? Ha, 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 old jokes from like the mid 2000s. I don't care. Right, we're not doing well. Oh, understeer, come on. Right, we'll kill the cones just to get them out of the way. Right, one of them's gone wide. I don't actually know if we're catching up. Well, oh, maybe. Hard to tell. Ah, sod it. Just cross the grass. It's all good. Don't get a warning for cutting the corners. It's just merely the contact. Oh, stop understeering, you stupid machine. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I hate cars or trucks that understeer excessively.
Like that. See, I mean, I'm turning. The truck is not cooperating at all. I can still see him slightly through the mist. But uh, as far as catching them up, I have no idea. No, come on, for God's sake. Jesus Christ, that is annoying. Got plenty of time though, still three laps to go. I just need to try and avoid the grass as much as possible. seem to be holding... I think that's Gerd behind me, so I seem to be holding up Gerd. Come on, turn, you stupid machine. Well, I'm going to safely assume we have definitely not won this race. I think we're going to have to settle for fourth place. Oh, saying that, we have caught up a little bit. Okay, two laps to go. And to my surprise, we've caught up quite considerably. Not enough to make any moves, granted, but... We will try. Oh yes, go on, push him wide. They're actually fighting each other, which is really cool. Nice, that actually made me catch up a little bit of time. Right, I would just get on your inside. Take third place, thank you. One more lap to go. No, you don't. Oh, if I can get the leader on this lap, I will be very pleased. We're losing too much time coming out of the corners, though. That's the problem. We're getting too much wheel spin. I don't think we're going to have enough time to do it. I think, no, definitely not now. Little friendly nudge at the back. 
No, we're gonna have to settle for second place. Our first race we haven't won through this entire series. Oh well. Not to worry. Alan Ferte has won the race. <laughs> and I take him out right at the end. Oh well that was a bit of a bit of a pain. Oh well. We should still be leading the championship standings regardless. I don't think uh, Ferte... Oh no, we're tied on points, so he was second last time. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to worry about the replay. I'm just going to carry on with race number two because that eats into too much time. Uh, what race are we going to be at now? I'm now going to say the, the Lausitz ring or Euro Speedway. And no, it's Valencia. I was completely and utterly wrong. As I usually am. But, oh well. Not to worry. Uh, we should get some redemption because I do like this track. And uh, over Brink, over Brink, I should say, is on pole position. Alan Ferte, then Crozier, Korber. Oh, Gerd. Good old Gerd. He's in fourth. Uh, Stern, Albacete, Calve, Braun, and myself starting in ninth place. Now, I shouldn't do bad around here because at least I've had quite a bit of practice. And go. Oh, and the bumping and boring started already. Argy bargy a plenty. Oh, Gerd has dropped down to fifth. But yes, I've had quite a lot of practice on this track already with the uh, the race series and the World Touring Car Championship. So if I lose this race, that's like my own stupid fault. Although these tracks are a lot more forgiving than the ones on the uh, the other game. Saying, <laughs> saying, oh, a lot more forgiving saying that, and I just completely wreck myself. Ugh, well. Get wrecked, as they would say. I don't think we've hemorrhaged too much time. So this race is still winnable. Lap two. And he's gone off, so another position gained up into sixth. What are they doing behind? Besides taking each other out and ruining the race for everybody else. So you can see how fast a truck picks up speed when you're behind in the uh, very powerful draft mechanism of this game. All right, don't go over the curb this time, you bloody idiot. Okay, good. Nice, right, fifth place. They're dropping back. Right, three seconds off fourth place at the moment.
nicely done. Not in the draft just yet. Should be soon though. Yeah, there we go. A nice boost of speed, as you can see. We're just going to slide it around, take second place. Now we're still in the draft, technically, so we should get a boost. Yep, there we go. See, you know, the arcade mechanics do kind of work. Right, excuse me. I'm just going to go and take the lead, thank you. Oh no, he's still by the side of me. Yes, he is. Right, it's a drag race. Oh, you son of a bitch. You absolute dingus. What the hell do you think you're doing? Right, if you're going to play like that, Sunny Jim, two can play that game. That hasn't actually lost us that much time. We still got three laps to go. All right, give me the boost. Oh, nice. They've taken each other off. I'll just squeeze on by. And again, a bit of a boost. Alright, back up into second. Hopefully we can get past the leader this time without him spinning us off. I think he's done a little, yeah, he's done a bit of damage. My truck is pulling to the left. Taking these corners way too sharp. Oh, hello. I didn't see you back there. He just sort of came out of nowhere. He's definitely benefiting from the draft that I'm giving him. I'm not close enough to benefit from his draft ahead. And it's the final lap. Oh man, are we going to have to settle for second place again? I bloody hope not. Come on. No, off the grass, you bloody moron.
Nope. Not going to be able to do it. Well, that is a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh yeah, I get the benefit of his draft right at the end. Uh, but it looks like Albacete's behind, which is fine. Yeah, Stern gets a victory then. Oh, that was a bit... Oh no, uh, Albacete was uh, fifth overall, so that's not too bad. So, that means, uh, yeah, we've taken back the lead. Um, oh, it was Ferrite, sorry, Alan Ferrite, that's right. Uh, so yeah, we've taken back the lead by five points. And uh, Alan Ferrite was fourth in that race. So, uh, my mistake, I've got the uh, two drivers mixed up. But that's absolutely fine. Right, we'll save the replay again. And um, we'll go to this one. So yeah, this championship is actually proving to be a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a pain to actually uh, catch up to the drivers and win. So yeah, the, the difficulty spike has indeed increased. Which is great fun. Uh, you know, I do enjoy a battle. Ah, uh, here we go. It uh, allows its ring, as I said the previous two races. So this one shouldn't be too bad. So we're only on race four. So we've got three to go after this one. Plenty of time. And Crozier is on pole position then. And Gerd, bloody hell, that's the highest position I've seen him in uh, second place. Uh, Calve, Overbrink, Braun, Albacete, and Alan Ferte in the DAF. So, yeah, starting in 7th, and of course, I'm starting in ninth place. So, my main title competitor is directly in front. So, I'm going to try everything in my power to get rid of him. Like so. Excuse me. I think he had the same idea behind as well. Right, he's caught up very quickly though. We'll do the same again, just push him off. Just to give myself that little bit of an advantage. Oh, the uh, yellow truck's gone as well. See, that is another really cool thing about this game, is that the AI do make mistakes, and they do uh, drive off the track or crash into each other. So it's not like a single-line procession where they're just, you know, not doing anything. They are actually battling for a position, which is nice. And why did I overcorrect there? It was a bloody straight. There we go, case in point, the blue truck's gone wide. Crashed into the yellow truck. And we got the draft, so we'll be topping out at 205 kilometers an hour, or 150 mile an hour, or 160, thereabouts. Which is what the old speed limiter was back then. Now it's even lower, 100 mile an hour. Oh my god, you're not giving me any room whatsoever. Got a good run through the chicane. And we've got the draft. Even better. He's being pushed wide. Will he go off? No, he keeps it together. Oh, Gerd, what are you doing, man? Oh, <laughs> and I think... Was that Gerd in second place? So he must have just given him in front a, a smallest little tap. 
which uh, sent him wide or spinning into the infield. Either way, that was uh, quite funny to see. I think he was a bit shocked by the warning. So he sort of like just gave up in protest. A lot of banging going on behind again. Right. Four laps to go. The two teammates are ganging up behind. Oh, sod it. <laughs> what are they doing? That is really bizarre. <laughs> Paying too much attention to what's going on behind me and not what's going on in front. Bloody hell, they catch up quick. The joys of the rubber banding on arcade games. Gonna do that swerving thing again. No, they're actually uh, in a single file line drafting each other. I've been testing some more uh, PS2 games recently on the uh, backwards compatible PS3 just to see which ones work and which ones don't. Um, luckily for me, the first MotoGP works fine. Um, besides a few little audio glitches, which is very rare, you might get the audio skipping a bit. Uh, besides that, it works absolutely fine. And um, I thought that game was always rather unique in the fact that it doesn't actually go through a full MotoGP championship, it's just literally five races. Uh, and you do a season on one of those five races, or through the, the course of those five races. And then you do it all over again, but the, the, uh, the tracks are in a different order, and yeah, it was a very condensed version of what MotoGP is, but yeah, it was uh, a rather unique game for its time back in 2001 or whenever it was. So uh, yeah, I will be getting on with uh, with some MotoGP, I think, in the not too distant future, once I've got some more older series completed. But anyway. Two laps to go. We are increasing our lead a little bit. Ooh, understeer.
just keeping a watchful eye on little timer at the top. Oh, someone spun again onto the infield. Uh, 2.23 seconds ahead. Let's see if we can increase that by the start finish line. Although I can hear him, he has caught up really quickly. I don't know, uh, let me know your thoughts. What would you like to see more of on the channel? Would you like to see some motorcycle racing or more rallying or more truck racing, more circuit racing, what? You know, I'm always uh, open to suggestions, but you know, it's, uh, it, it's hard to tell exactly what type of content people would like more. Like I said, it, any input benefits the channel. Like liking and subscribing. We win! Hooray! So, another first place. Who was second in the end? It was Calve, Crozier, and Alan Ferte was sixth, and Albacete was in eighth place. So, that means we should increase our championship lead by 19 points, which isn't too bad over Ferte. And everyone else is still rather close in the mid pack from uh, Calve all the way down to Gerd, who, uh, even though he's had a good few performances, in qualifying, he is still not doing very well in the points. Right, we'll save that replay as well. Uh, yeah, we'll save it on the third one. That's fine. Thank you. Right. Move on to the next race. What race is this now? Five? Is this race five? I can't remember. I've lost count already. I've been... You know, my OBS is saying 46 minutes, so we got to be getting close. Anyway, back to Nagaro then in uh, Le Francais. As we wait for the race to load. Right, who's on pole position then? It's Overbrink again. Crozier and then Stern. Where's, uh, old Ferte? Where's he starting? Quite far back, actually. Alan Ferte is starting in 8th place. Here we go, then. 3, 2, 1, start, go! Right, let's just barrel our way into turn 1, excuse me. wasn't very helpful. I don't know where the <laughs> where the hell was he going? Bloody hell. Come on, excuse me, get out of the way. Right, you're gonna go wide, so that's fine. That's old Gerd. No, you don't. 
Oh my god, will you get out of the way? Right, three wide down the back straight, that's fine. Oh, no, he's pushing it to side. Last thing I want is another spin like we had at Valencia. And again, though, we're not doing that great, only in fourth place. Alright, five laps to go. Oh, too fast. Way too fast. Thank you. I think that was our mate, Gerd. Now, one critique about this game is the fact that you can't input your own name as a driver, so you're always stuck with who was driving that truck in period. So, of course, with this one, it's Steve Parrish. With some of the FINA trucks, it probably would have been old Gerd or Ferrite, whoever. And of course, Crozier and Stern. With the yellow MANs. And it's a shame as well that the, uh, the pit lane is never open as I make the exact same mistake that I did on a previous lap. Come on. So you can never fix your damage. Right. I think Gerd is right on my chuff. Come on, catch up to him for goodness sake. Got plenty of time, though. Four laps to go. All I can say is at least Norbert Kish is not in this game, otherwise he would be winning everything. Like he did with the uh, the European Truck Racing Championship. My god. I think he won pretty much 80% of the races this season. Absolute man possessed. Ah, you tried to get me back, didn't quite work, did it? Alright, I'll take the inside line. A little bump as well. There you go. You can take a little spin, courtesy of myself or not. Oh no, that's old Gerd. He's taken the place back. Right, well, all this arsing about is not making us catch up with the top three. Or the top two as it is now. Well, we're losing a lot more water pressure as well in the front brakes. Still got plenty of water in the uh, in the jets for the remaining what three laps, two and a bit laps, somewhere like that. Up. 
two to go. Yay, I didn't actually go wide this time. Hallelujah. I'm learning. you. No, come on. Go away. Thank you. Just one more truck to pass and then you'll be first. I do need to get some sound bites, I think, of uh, old Scotty just to insert into non-talker racing games. Just for the shits and giggles. Final lap. Yeah, we got this no problem. All right, he's cooking his brakes up ahead. No one is in the near vicinity. Just be able to dive on the inside once we get close enough. Possibly here. Yep, excuse me. Like so. No. That's not what I wanted to do. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> okay, I blocked him. He goes into the wall. Well done. Well done indeed. He was intimidated by my uh, really crap driving. He was like, no, I'm not having any of that. I'm just going to crash myself instead. It'll be less painful. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to be settling for another second place because I ballsed up on that one corner. Oh, well, as long as it isn't Alan Ferte, we're fine. So, yeah, another second place. Over Brink, he actually does win this time. Nice one. Right, where did everyone else finish? Uh, Ferte then was fifth, and Albacete was last. Where did old Gerd finish? Eighth place. My God, Gerd is like... I don't know. He's He reminds me of, like, a, a teammate that I always have that he just doesn't do very well even though you want him to because his name's funny oh well anyway not going to worry about anything else at the moment just get the replay saved and we're not even going to look at the points totals as well we'll wait for that for uh, the next race because i think this is a penultimate race now i think so anyway i've completely lost kane anyway we're in a yarma in spain which is, uh, coincidentally, where the uh, last round of the European Truck Championship finished, uh, what, this weekend gone. That's dating the episode, but there you go. And it was a very good race indeed. So who's on pole position then? It's Overbrink again. Then you got Calve, Stern, Alan Ferte. Oh, he's starting fourth. What about Gerd? Where's Gerd? Oh, no, Gerd is starting in eighth place. Oh, well. Poor Gerd. Two. One. Go. Alright, excuse me. I need to get past the Fina truck up ahead. Oh, he's having a dive on the outside, or inside. Or we just push him wide.
take the inside here, I think. Nope. No, we'll do it here instead. Excuse me, Mr. Overbrink. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, it didn't. <laughs> it did work. He just crashed into the bloke at the back. Oh, joy. Now, if that comes out on the replay, I'll be very chuffed. I'll use that as a thumbnail. But the, uh, the the camera positions on the replays on this game, some of them are not that great, to be fair. Oh, Alan Ferte has received a warning for excessive contact. Good, give him a penalty, so that means I should take the championship with no worries. Stop going wide. I still got four laps to go. Surprisingly, not that much debris on the start finish here. I thought that would have been. Uh, Absolutely covered in bits and pieces, but nope. Oh, stop it. He's not giving up, is he? Oh, Gerd, what are you doing? That's like the, the third penalty you've received, or warning you've received in the last three races. Well, whatever he's doing, he seems to be going all like... Three to go. Yeah, only a tiny bit of debris, not much. He is right on my chuff. Yep, there he is. That better not be old uh, Ferte either. Although it probably is. Where is he at? There he is. Right, if he goes wide, goes on the grass, so the other blokes behind him can catch up, that'll give us a little bit of leeway. Okay, two laps to go. 
though. They have dropped back, which is good. 2.6 seconds. Oh, okay. Bit of two-wheel action. That's fine. Both the FINA trucks are now directly behind, so they're going to be working together. As we begin the final lap. And again, one truck is very, very far back on the little mini-map. I bet that's GERD again. Come on. I haven't caught up that much. Luckily, they're actually battling each other, so maybe they can take each other off, as I've just done. No, nope, go away. And there we go, another victory. Hooray! So, where did everyone else finish? Uh, Ferte was second, sadly. Um, so, what has that done to the championship point? I think we've got one more race to go anyway. Uh, oh, at that rate, we cannot be beaten then. So, uh, yay, we are the champion of uh, this uh, championship, which is good. I'm not going to worry about the replay this time either. We'll just jump straight into the final round. And we are at most in the Czech Republic. Of course we are. So as I think every single race in uh, or track in the game now. Not many. Not many uh, tracks, but the tracks that they have used are quite unique and don't appear often in other racing games, which is good. So Crozier is on pole position. Korber, good old Gerd back in second place. Albacete, Calve, Overbrink, Ferte, and Stern with Simone Braun. Starting in 7th place. And here we go then, for the final time. One, start, and go. Pardon me. Oh, way too fast. <laughs> well, he's just got taken out as well. Good. I think that might have been uh, Ferrite that's just got spun. Oh, and there goes the other Fina truck. So, oh. Excuse me. 
Bloody hell, what is going on here? It's literally destruction derby. In truck form. With so much argy-bargy going on, I'm surprised no one actually picked up any warnings or penalties there. But anywho, that is lap one complete. Five to go. Yeah, we have picked up a little bit of damage. Truck is edging to the left. Ooh, excuse me. Oh. Okay, so he's done the same thing as uh, someone else did before. They bump into you and then they go spinning. Not the uh, the brightest bulbs. Give you that much. Someone else has gone wide as well. I'll take him on the outside. Ooh, a bit of two-wheel action as well, that's always good. Alright, lap two complete. And a time of 127.34. That's not the fastest we've been around here, it's 125 something. That's old Gerd. Oh, a lot of debris. Was that a wheel? That looked like a wheel had been ripped off. Excuse me, Gerd. Trying to get past. Thank you. Yeah, it definitely looked like a, a wheel had been ripped off one of the trucks. It, you know, might not have been. But that's what it certainly looked like. to go. Oh, and the teammates took each other out. Nice. Less worry for me. Well, one of them was taken out anyway, and he's gone wide. Excuse me. No, it wasn't a wheel, it was just a large bit of bodywork. Speaking of bodywork, though, how's my truck holding up? Uh, rear end looks fairly decent. Uh, I do have a bit of steering damage. Front end, I've lost one of my headlights. And, uh, the bumper is a little bit bent. All in all, not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. All 
Alrighty, two to go. Just ever so slightly counter steering to the right. Just to keep the truck straight. The whole track is littered in body parts. Well, luckily for us, we've sort of avoided most of the carnage. And I'm going to take yet another victory. And we wrap up the championship. Hooray! Oh no, we got one more lap to go. I thought that was the last lap. Oh well. My bad. We are pulling away though. 4.6 seconds from second place. I keep doing that. I just keep miscounting everything. I, I seriously thought that was the last lap. I think I'd done that before at the track in Finland on the second championship it was. So yeah, I have a habit of doing that. A bit of brain fog or whatever. Yeah, look at all this debris littering the track. easy slide oh sliding a bit too much That's right we still got five seconds in hand we've lost that a bit though oh well there we go now we can say it that we've won the championship and uh, we really made the most of that race. Ha ha ha! Puns and jokes and get it? Because uh, the track's called Most. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, we get the victory. And what about the points then? Uh, Antonio Albacete was second. Uh, Simone Braun, Noel Crozier, uh, Boige Overbrink, Fabian Calve, Ludovic Stern, Gerd Korber, and Alan Ferte was last. Would you believe? So uh, that means then 125 points to 76. Oh, bless. Did he actually finish? Yeah, he did finish the race, but his points were, were, you know, he was on the same points. So I don't know. Anyway, that was the last race then. And we'll go and collect our trophy and be done with the championship. And then it's just one more to go. And then I'm not sure if I'll do any of the, uh, the little you know, little sprint races or the uh, the last man stand. I'll probably do the last man standing. But uh, there we go. Congratulations, first place. You can now compete in the Grand Prix. And, of course, that'll be at the, uh, what's his name again? The Harry Lewis Starinen Grand Prix. Seven races of six laps each. So I was wrong with the, uh, the laps and race counter. But uh, exactly the same then. Seven laps of six or seven races of six laps. I'll get it right in a minute. And there's going to be the maximum of 10 trucks on the grid. But we shall do that next time. So I'm going to leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll see you for the final championship, but not necessarily the final episode of Super Trucks. So thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.